So the uh, steam is a few changes today. Blake Lacorne is starting at uh, 15, fullback. It's, uh, places um, Sessi Bella the Drucker Drucker from last week. Bit of a mistake there, didn't, didn't get the ball out, cheer it. So his team is now go wide. George Woods puts it on the toe into the 22 of Tumit. Good chase here. And Tumit clear it. So uh, Ryan looking to go fast, but Tumit, Tumit shutting it down. So just inside the steamer's uh, half. We'll have a, uh, a line out steamer's throw. Liam Crouch back this week. Good to see. So. Uh, Certainly uh, a good forward pack for the steamers. Great lineup. So George Woods takes the ball into contact, gets over that advantage line nicely. Lloyd spins it quickly. T. Jones here pops it out. And the ball continues through the backs. So Ryan O'Sullivan taking it into contact. There's a Ford pod, T. Jones takes it into contact, just gets over that advantage line nicely. Simon Clements now loses that. Warwick Strong sees the uh, penalty. And offside. This team is out of jail there, certainly. Uh, Tumor won that fair and square. So good nudge there for the steamers. It's, it's about 38, 39, 36 metres out from the uh, Tumut line with uh, another throw from Liam Krauts. Aiden Woods gets that ball again. So. Oh, well done, Liam. What a break. Liam and he's, not, he's a fabulous offload. Beautiful offload to George Woods. Keeps his feet. Oh, no hands. No hands in the tackle. Didn't look like there was hands there, but referee says play on. We've got an That's overlap here. And, uh, ever alive if with I Benny Reid. on the camera, I would clap now. Benny Reid. Fabulous. It's uh, good to see Benny Reid take his spot back in first grade. Been playing well in twos. It's uh, on the wing now for uh, Sai Vakaru. So beautiful play, beautiful break by Liam. Flanagan. So the back's looking pretty sharp so far. George Woods hasn't got a an easy kick from the sideline here. Just over the 20 metre line, so not an easy kick for anybody, but hopefully he's on song today. Doesn't strike it real well. Didn't sound good off the boot, and uh, yeah, fell a little short. Steamers now lead five points to nil. So steamers on the board, so good, good structure early. Using the width, using the backs, and uh, George Woods and Liam Flanagan certainly uh, showing they want the ball early, which is a good sign. Training together, pace back. They know when. One goes. Offload was fabulous. Great T chunks. So Rock's there taking the ball into contact. Could have just let it out, couldn't he? Just settling, Clem takes it into contact there. Aiden, good clean out. Nice ball for uh, Lloyd to swing it early. Fabulous. Tom Clemens made a few good runs early. Ball's come out there, lock on. So 
So you can hear the chatter out there it's early, which is good. Let's, uh, let's see how uh, this first scrum goes. So we've got uh, Steve McBarn and Paddy playing probably with Liam Krauts at hooker. Was Liam Krauts always a hooker? No, uh, he's uh, played a little bit of hooker, but certainly uh, been a, a fabulous flanker for many years. Jim at scrum holds very nicely, even very puts the shovel scrum, on. Yeah. Straight out, Ten's going to run it out the back. Good underline. Good tackle there. Bit of pressure on the ruck, the ref, referee's seen an infringement called in coming from the side, Aiden Woods. Bit unlucky, I thought he went through the gate, but the referee was right there to see that. So. Knock on there, so steamers will have the feed. So first scrum, Chima looking very strong in the set piece. The ball's about 15 metres out from the steamers line, so steamers will want a quick ball out here and uh, put it on the toe, get it out, out of jail. I don't think they'll run it out of here. It's a good strong second row for the steamers, Simon Clements and T. Jones. Followed by a great number eight. Uh, very strong and pushes them in. Great scrum by Tumor. Demolishes the steam of scrum. Warwick Strong had no hesitation there, called the penalty. So the steamers will know they're in for a, a tough day in the office. See, that's what the, uh, the Tumut Scrum's going to do, and they're certainly, you know, certainly rewarding themselves there with high fives and very, very happy with that scrum. And I would be too, to be honest. They're Good loud, scrum. they're aggressive, they seem to want the ball more. Very respectful to take the kick. The so steamers will need to sort that. Um, Scuba and Paddy will just need to look at their body height with, with uh, Liam Krauts just to make sure that the body height's right and their, their second row is a, a locking. Uh, but certainly you don't want to be in a scrum like that all day on the receiving end of being smashed regardless. Here we go, see if uh, Tumor can uh, close that gut. Hey, kick, kick just first of all, yeah. Just shaved the upright there, so lucky steamers. The so score remains 5-0, and we'll have a uh, 22 drop. So Rhino Sutherland looking for some gaps there, but they need the steamers to run onto this. It's a long kick. Chase is pretty good. It's uh, a good tackle, George Woods. Chim are lining up here for the ball. Certainly having a good scrum makes a makes a positive reaction for the whole team. So making some good ground, getting over that advantage line very quickly. Yeah, good, they lost it. Tackle. It's been knocked forward there. Warwick calls it up for a scrum. Looked like a double knock on to me. Yeah, it looked like it, unless he's called it was a steal. So he's raked it in a steal, which isn't a uh, knock on. Steamers have set there off. The back line offset, 
three, three on the open side, two on the blind with uh, Blake just hovering in the back there of the scrum. So, so he'll be the link man. Did another good scrum by Tumut. Fabulous scrum by Tumut, yes. Yeah, good defence on the, on the wing. Jim is just, just going one off, handing the ball, just settling it down into a ruck, not, not over committing in the ruck, and uh, the forwards are just bashing it up. Good run by the, uh, the centre there. Yeah, it looks nice though, it looks like he lost that. Mean defence by Steamers. So I have a line out here about eight metres off the steamer's line, but about Let's go, ball. just 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 getting getting up off uh, getting the ball back and kicking it out quickly here will be uh, what they need to do. Just settle it down a bit. Wasn't clean ball, well cleaned up by Paddy, and take it into contact there, Liam Flanagan. Team are putting pressure on. There's advantage. The referee's happy with that. Puts his arm down. Good kick. No, he's, no, he's changed his mind. So, so out of jail there, the steamers. Well, so gave him. They just got penalty for. No, it gave him the option. So he had, he had was playing advantage, and uh, steamers kicked it, and he ruled. That was the advantage, but um, rightly so, Steam has called it back to uh, take a better kick. I'm well confused. You know the rules better. It's a nice nudge. So it's just taken about 28 metres out, Steamer's line. So, so this line out will need to be on point so they can swing it wide. Bit of a scrappy ball there, but well won by Aiden. So George Woods takes it into contact, gets over that advantage line nicely. Still going. Well done, well fought to the ground and quick ball. Rhino Sullivan now. Blake McCornu takes it into contact. So well secured. So down that short side. So, so Rax dispossessed there. And uh, we'll bring it back for the, uh, for the knock on. So they're not, not afraid to run the ball short side, which is a good sign. So, uh, and Tumut will be happy that there's another screen. Steamers need to go lower together and be ready for that heat in the scrum. So the Tumut engine room there, like the four and five are a big unit, so a tight five for the steamers need to take a step and lock. Not budging. Tumut swings away. Well Liam. Liam Flanagan on the toe. It's a bit of a foot race here. Tumut just smothers that ball. Now it's a penalty to Tumut. Not rolling away. So he's called Liam Flanagan there, the tackler not rolling away. In the scrum I could see a second row of steamers holding the prop on his knee instead of his shorts or shirt. I'm yes. sure that can't be comfortable, can it? So that would certainly uh, limit the prop driving forward. So hopefully uh, the prop has a word to his second row next scrum. But it certainly limits your movement and uh, yeah, it's not conducive for a good scrum. So Jim, get out of jail here. So they're uh, just on the 40. So about nine metres into Steamer's territory. Steamer's throw. Hey, 
tumour throw. Sorry. So it seems as if they put put up someone to contest, put some pressure on. Mm. Well, well uh, controlled. They could, they could create a mistake. Tumut swings it up, mm. up off the line. Rax needed to make that tackle. So, oh. Oh. so he was called, a tackle, called was the high shot. Called the high shot. Which was a little bit. So, Yeah, probably a little bit unlucky. Just didn't didn't go low, but probably the right call. No, there was nothing in it. Just uh, just a bit lazy. It wasn't. It wasn't a nasty tackle at all. So Jim, once again, get some uh, field play here. Some a uh, good kick. So we're just inside the, the 20, 22, so about 20 metres off the steamer's line. And once again, the steamers will need to uh, try and disrupt this line out. So Jim are not commi committing numbers in there. That's uh, referee needs. To Can they do that? Needs to call them, are they in or out? So what if the numbers are too low? Usually we speak about numbers being too high. So if they don't commit, then there's no penalty. That, that can't be straight. So the referees pick that up. So good pressure on the steamers line out there. So, but, but certainly normally you would have to match numbers, but if they hang back and um, steamers haven't got time, well, the, the referee won't penalise generally. Here we go, another opportunity for the steamers. So they've taken the line out option, not, not the scrum. It's probably the right call, given where their scrum's been dominated every every time so far. So they need to make use of this, get the throw on song, on point, and then give it to the backs to uh, kick it out. This will be a front ball to Aiden. Just pushed it over Lloyd's head there. So bit messy, but looks like they've secured it okay. Flooding in there. And George Woods takes a kick, but doesn't find the line. So steamers need to get up and defend. This man could be isolated here, but... Great tackle. So, well, well, well in, good tackle. Tumut just barging up with their forwards, happy to just truck it up. Oh, good run by the 12, just a missed tackle there. Out wide, they've got numbers out there if they want it. It's a great tackle well done, Liam. Well done, Liam. Fabulous, Liam. So, uh, referees seen a knock on there, so we'll have a scrum a few metres out. And, and Chumman will back themselves here. Their, their scrum's been on point. Well, that's what um, Aubrey Wodonga steamers have to watch now, that push. So they need that tight five just to lock, lock as hard as they can. Grab the shorts or a shirt, not the knee. That's it. So, so Liam Krauts will need to uh, get his big man down low. Just try and get under that tumult scrum to stop the push. Tumult pushing, but steam has held that okay. Oh, straight through a the gap there. Nice tackle there. They're defending very well. As uh, Michio made that tackle. It's a ball going to ground. He's got the overlap here. For, and, oh, just, just sheer numbers out, out wide, ball, ball across the line. Yeah, Always going to score with an Big overlap. hand to Liam Flanagan. Um, gentlemen, tackles on the right, tackles on the left, tackles on the right. Uh, what a machine. Looks like uh, an injury here to the steamers. Looks like just getting a uh, bit of attention. 
What's uh, Blake's story? He was injured for uh, quite a while, wasn't he? So he uh, had a hamstring inju injury after the first game in second grade and uh, just coming back from injury now and uh, it's like Sammy, Sammy's uh, straight on, take his place. So there'll be a little bit of a shuffle here. Um, looks like he's dislocated a finger. So Blake in good hands. His mum, uh, very good physio in the past for the steamers, so I'm sure she'll sort him out. Here comes the kick. Tumor. It. It's got the height. It's coming round. Not a bad kick. Not just, a bad kick. Just a bit short, a bit wide. So. And who was chasing the ball? Liam. This right, ball is a heart. Tumor, which was not converted, scores now five each. It's five each to steamers. So we know we certainly got a game on our hands. Tumut certainly come here to play. No matter where they sit on the ladder, it's always a tough game against Tumut. So uh, steamers will need to uh, start lifting a little bit here and um, use the ball, use, the, use their backs, use the width like they've been doing, but try and penetrate a bit more. So it's a good kick, high kick. Well, steamers should be inspired by the female steam. Um, they won 42 nil. Yeah, well done to uh, Steamer women's team. So Tumut just holding it in, not, not rushing. Nice kick over the top. And uh, the ever-reliable Benny Reid back there to take it. On to Zach Tipney. Benny's such a humble player, isn't he? And, and Benny himself uh, a Tumut boy. So. Is he? Bit of, bit of trivia about Benny Reid. Great play for the Steamers over a few years, but uh, yeah, he's uh, he's actually from Tumor. It's a penalty here for the Steamers, so. I thought he had a bit of an accent, that's true. So just on uh, the inside of the Tumor 22, line out the Steamers. Lost there by the steamers, not a good. It's, uh, just need to put pressure on. Man down. So, it's a ball stolen by the steamers there, so now they need to regroup. Ball coming from through the hands on the backs. Liam Flanagan, great hands. To back himself here and just, oh, just couldn't pick it up. Right, not right idea, good pass, just uh, didn't go to him. I think if they only had that. Uh... That winger from twos, Mickey Osbrook on, uh, would have scored a try, I guess. No doubt, no doubt. It would have been a big barge over. So. so scrum five metres out. It's a uh, tumid feed, so uh, they like to secure this one and get it on the boot early. Well, they might run it, but... It, uh, yeah, I think uh, if they can secure it quickly and get it out, just to give them a little bit of a breather. Doesn't look bad. It actually looks awesome. They got really low. Well done, Steamers. So steamers are starting to uh, try and push back here. No, they're going to run it out. It's uh, like their chances here to, to Man, they lost it. stolen. But, it was it? Yeah. Oh. So, uh, so, so they did steal it, but he's saying uh, that he knocked it on when uh, he picked it up. Our so, player knocked it on. So Steamer's player knocked it on. So he stole it fair and square, just dropped it. That's a bit heartbreaking. You get all that effort. It and, is uh, a good referee, so you can't blame him. He's, um, he knows what he's doing. Oh, 
Ball's gone in and Tumut just lay the platform nicely. You're going to run it out here again. So uh, no one over that ball. Very lucky to secure that. So it looks like they're lining up for a kick. So just get out of jail here and. Uh, well, did they? Well done. So well done, Benny Reid. That uh, touchy's call it, call it out. Getting tired to me. Well, it looks like uh, Tumor throw here, so. So we've got a stoppage now for uh, center down and back play. I think our steam is short are too long. We should uh, have shorter shorts. Fair enough. It's a bit of a fashion statement. So. The wind is stopping them from running fast, you see. <laughs> it's a certainly a, uh, a tough contest. It's uh, steamers need to uh, start to talk a little bit more, I think, and. Uh, just hold on to that ball a bit, take it into contact, not throw that extra pass. Just start to uh, settle it down. It'll, it'll come. Tries will come if they just hold on to the ball. Ball and take the ball, yeah, that's right. Certainly Blake Lacornu, a big loss. If he doesn't come back on, it's, uh, it's a very positive soul as well. Directs the game very well. But no, uh, no, no problems for Tip. He'll do a good job at the back there. Very safe pair of hands. So here we go. We're back with uh, Tumor Throw. Great for Didn't look like a straight throw, but oh, the Steamers have won that. That's oh, got to be a penalty going over. Full decision, yeah. Go, so. so uh, Tumor forwards not holding their feet and just going straight over. So good, good call from the ref. Well, well won by the steamers. So Rhino Sutherland will put this in, inside the 22 and another, another strong line out. So we're about seven metres out. Try opportunity for the steamers. Choo choo. We'll see what option they take here if they uh, bring it down and have a uh, driving wall or uh, use their back line. It's the referee not happy with the gap, so uh, uh, Met players off. Full lineups. So here we go. So Liam Krauts will need to get this throw right. So going to the back. Simon Fabulous safe. lineup. Great lineup. So ball, oh, just, just gone behind there and referee seen a knock on by Tumut. So ball not going to hand. So that was just a missed opportunity there because they certainly had the. Uh, do you think both teams are rushing the ball a little bit too much? Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it's just the basics now. We, we talk about it at training, getting that ball to hand, simple passes, and uh, yeah, just just overrunning. Ball's gone behind, and just you lose momentum very quickly. And uh, with this rush defence from Tumut, they, they had the opportunity if they could pick it up. So great scrum by. Tumut. The ball was out and uh, jumped on by Tumut there, so... Oh, 
Jim are making some good yards, just trucking it up. Some forward runners. Absolutely uh, smashed there by William Krauts. It held onto the ball nicely. A lot of Tuma players walking, so they're starting to... Feel the game. Hmm. Just, just feel it a bit, and it's uh, certainly a, a hot day. And, uh, Definitely doesn't feel like autumn. Good run there by Tuma. They find the advantage line, but lost the ball, and Michio takes it into contact. Someone lost the shoe. It's a wild pass there, George Woods. So George Woods evades one tackle, and now referees call that a bit high. So uh, we'll come back for the penalty there. So referee not tolerating any, any high shots, and uh, he's very, very consistent, penalising both teams. Looks like a sub for Steamers. The man who had a really good game in the seconds, William. Coming on, who's going to come off? So it looks like uh, Paddy's uh, coming off, possibly with that knee injury. So. Penalties. So penalty to Tumut, he's, he's that called that for balking. For what, sorry? He's sure for balking, balking the throw. Oh, so so double, double movement, is it? Or off the hands, so is that what balking yeah, is? Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, you can't do that. That's true. So Tumut out of jail, so they'll just get it out of their territory here. It's, uh, Takes a, a wild kick to the centre. Very, very Straight risky Straight to Liam kick Flanagan. Probably not the guy you want to kick it to, no. but some good metres there. And that was George, wasn't it? Running. Uh, Liam Flanagan. Are you sure? Uh, it was George. And Liam was clearing. Okay. My apologies to, That's all right. to George. Great run, Sunshine. So Aiden oh, oh. is over in the corner. Very, very good try. It's uh, not a lot of space to work down there and flooding defence and uh, over the line very nicely. What's Aidan's surname, please? Uh, Wilford Smith. Wilford Smith. So a long time coming, but steamers uh, can now settle down. They'll take a few positives out of that. Certainly attacking with line-outs and... Uh, in that camped in that territory for a little while, so they will probably follow, won't they? But Jim, it's going to regroup here, and take positives away. They held him out for so long and forced some errors. So, so it's another tough kick. Pretty similar spot to the last one. So uh, exactly the same, huh, actually. So hopefully George has learned from the. Uh, the last kick. Just missed. So Not kick kicks uh just, yeah. So no one's running away with this game, ten five. So We'll see uh, see what the, the Bulls can do from here. It's a loud call. Liam Krauts takes that ball into contact, evades one tackle, just makes some nice metres, just plays it on the 10 metre line inside Steamers territory. So ball going to hand. George Woods made some really good yards straight through the centre there. Once again, almost to halfway. The backs are lining up here on the short side. Ryan O'Sullivan takes it into contact. And uh, Tumor there just fighting for that ball and uh, well secured. So 
Liam Crouts again, very strong up high. If they go high on him, he's able to push them away. So Liam Crouts holds that ball, passes it back. Lloyd sends it through, and Ryan just puts it on Chicky the tongue to the uh, a good kick. just into the back in the 22. Chase. Some good chases Fabulous. here. Fabulous. No, no one with him. So that's got to be a penalty going over. And ref hasn't called it. It's uh, and Tumor's secure that. So he, he went off his feet, that man there, but uh, ref in a better position than me to see that. Well, so no, he should be a goalkeeper. And, uh, well done. So we'll come back for a 22. Kicked into touch by Tumor into uh, dead ball zone. I'd say if uh, Western Bulldogs need a player to defend their goal, Aiden is your man. Well, you have to pay to the steamers first. So, so puts puts the steamers in a good good position, but I, I feel Tumut will uh, feel OK with this scrum. The steamers will need to really take a step, get that ball out as quick as they possibly can so they don't get dismantled in the scrum. This is where nine and two need to really communicate, get that ball in straight on toe and get it right straight back through the channel. And it's come through, nice, so backs now. Oh, George, tricky, tricky. George Woods, Fabulous almost run. to the line. Great pass by Ryan. Or Ryan Sullivan. Sutherland. Daddy over. scores a try, he deserved it, truly. Just tunnels through and uh, yeah, defence defense were... Uh, just a bit high on him and he's ducked under for that try. I think the bucket with Trice has just been open. So that'll do the seamers confidence some good here. Tumut, if you, if you feel the boys now tiring, bit of, bit of uh, defence and a lot of running, so I need to regroup. I think I just saw Kira running on. I think uh, there's a sub coming on. Kira for Scuba. <laughs> so change of kicker here. So uh, Liam Flanagan's going to step up and uh, see if he can uh, get the extras. She does very, very nicely. So we've got half time here. So Steve is. Right, it's half, uh, half time to the Steve's, which was a duly converted. Steve's now lead at Tremont, uh, 17 points to 5. But I think we still have a pretty tight second half coming up. Oh, I'm recording it now. Well, you can see that. You can't get lost on it, right? Just let it go, yeah? Because then I'll upload it once. Oh, you have to pack it in there. Yeah, good. It's a good game. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Fabulous game. I think the bucket was a solid game. The tries were just taking away. Oh, yeah, They're getting tired there, huh? Yeah. I'm trying to zoom, but I can't see you. Right now, I was going to say. I could see, last week I wasn't focusing, let's say. But when I'm focusing, I need to see well, so I'm trying to cover, cover with my heart to actually see what I can see. Uh, Oh, yeah. Maybe an umbrella or something in the future. Yeah, yeah. You need to be able to see what you do. Should be, this one should be better. There's a few far away ones, but on tries and line up scrums, I'm trying to get closer. The commentary is definitely working because um, you know, there's a ball that is going up and down. Raiden is fabulous. He's be, no, 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 not only on the field. He's becoming my best mate. Seriously, I'm a second rower. I have to ask him, what do I do? <laughs> He's such a gentleman. 
And your younger wants to play seniors already at the age of 14. Why not? I just want to get the green jersey and the orange jersey. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Whereabouts in Ireland? Dublin. Whereabouts in Dublin? Okay, well I lived at Dolphins Bar for a while when I uh, I played rugby in, Dol uh, in there. I was uh, dormant at the Copperface Jacks. Good memories though. I was a doorman though, so I remember what they don't remember. <laughs> no, was it on Thursdays with the nurses or on Fridays with the firemen? <laughs> Good, good times. S single man, good times. What do you do? Yeah, good, good. Young Bundy's doing the commentary. You are talking to the future Fox, Fox Sports commentator, man. Thank you, sir. Perfect, alcohol. That's perfect. We get the microphone work. Um, no, that, we're not operating of the microphone, sir. We're operating of what's here. That doesn't work. So our voice comes. Now I am talking. Look at here. What about here now? Yeah. Working. Working. One, two, check one, two. Hold Se on. Second half underway. Yeah, no. Steam is kick. It's uh, just inside uh, 22 Bulls territory. Oh, straight through, steam is here. Got great defence, but uh, referees uh, found a knock on. Steam is out of jail. So, so Tum had certainly come out firing second half. They're. Uh, not out of this contest by any means. And if you watch the second grade, um, they deserve an Oscar for the lineouts. So just looking for any further changes uh, at half time. It doesn't look like, uh, other than the changes that were made before half time, that uh, all players have run back out. So. It's a tough day at the office, great to get that out. Benny Reid cleans up the scraps here and uh, makes some good yards. Benny Reid down the side here, he's got the pace. Straight out to Aiden Wilford Smith, great try. It's, uh, it's come from a, a pretty messy scrum and uh, cleaned up the scraps and uh, Benny Reid, take your hat off. He's uh, made those good meters and uh, great backing up Aiden Woodford Smith. It's definitely pleasuring to the large crowd here today at the Murray Fields. We have about 1,500 people right behind us. So great way to start the, the half of the steamers. It's uh, given confidence there. So it uh, takes the score up to 22-5 uh, with a kick to come and uh, another new kicker by the looks of it. Why changing the kicker who actually knows how to kick? That's so it. So Liam Flanagan uh, taking this uh, from right in front, about 19 metres in. Strikes it well, straight over the dot. And, uh, well done, Liam. That's my man of the match. So 24 to 5, steam as well. Right now the steam switch is truly converted. Steam is now 24. Lead at 2 at 5. Steam is, uh, the talk's done them really well at half time and uh, Tumut will need to uh, step up if they want to uh, remain in this game because it'll start to uh, get away from them if Steamers continue. Well taken Rhino Sutherland in the 22. Nice kick. Really good kick. It's, it's about 45 metres off the Tumut line so with a throw to come from uh, Tumut. It's a great nudge, got him out of jail. And, uh, um, steam is called a, um, can you call Dave if he's here? Oscar. The battery is coming off. That, um, for whatever reason. Do you see Dave anyway? 
Dive. 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 The battery's flashing. Tumors to, tumor to throw. It's cheeky throw. Oh, and Rux takes that ball beautifully. Still going. It's now T. Jones just settling it to Liam Flanagan and hands out. Oh, I just couldn't get it to hand. And, and it's called forward anyway. So that's uh, come off a lost line out and uh, well done by Rax. Just takes that, that ball in mid-air and uh, unfortunately the pass doesn't go to hand. Just, just floated forward there. So referee in a great spot to see that. So here we go. Yet another scrum inside the uh, Tumor 22. I think they uh, may fancy themselves to run this out again. I can't see anyone lining up for a kick. No, he's going to kick it and uh, just just secure it. It's not you out got, there. Yeah, you got it. So Sam Adler, I think his name is. Great run. Makes some good metres. Ball secured well. It's now across the back line. George Woods to Liam Flanagan. Benny Reid in, in the thick of it again. Gets How does he get through that gap? Straight into the uh, rush defence there in the 22. And here we go again. Fords in the back line just lining up with their pods. Quick ball. Zach Tipney passes it on to Krauty and Clemo. So Rux takes a hit and gives it on to Sammy. Still holding his feet and he's over. Well done to Sammy. Played a uh, good game in twos at 10. Then it's come on and uh, be willing here, the Tumor boys. And they'll have a beer after the game. Some spied that up, but uh, that's a, uh, a good, good try. Steam is starting to find their feet here and uh, run away with it a little bit here. Yeah, this kick is going to be a little bit more difficult for Liam. Let's see how he goes from uh, the more difficult position. So he's about five metres in. And he'll take it to the 22. So not an easy kick by any uh, stretch, but uh, see if he can uh, take the score to 31. So currently 29-5, kick to come. Not a bad kick, just moves across the face and uh, score could, remains 29 I could see his moustache was uh, moving too much on the left. <laughs> I think it's the wind. It's certainly cool down here at uh, Murrayfield now. It's uh, shocking. It's, the clouds starting to roll in a little bit and uh, just shield the sun. So probably welcoming to the players out there because it's certainly hot when the sun's out. Looks like um, a player on the wing had a cut on his hand, just being strapped by the um, physio, number 20. His elbow was cut. The steamers couldn't take that kick off there and uh, just knocked it on, so uh, the scrum just inside the uh, steamers 22. So, uh, so the Bulls are certainly going the attack from here. Would you like another drink? So, so walking this ball out to the back line and uh, it's knocked on. It's uh, unfortunately there, Tumut had an opportunity there and uh, just couldn't hold on to that ball. Supporters, uh, club captain Emma McGlade has asked me to remind you that uh, tickets are now on sale for the Ladies' Day. If you just do that telephone thing on the QR code up here at the uh, 
Get your ticket. So, Cal Captain Emma McGlone has asked for the people who are going next week's stage. Good scrum by Chimic. It's the penalty achievement there. Steam has just couldn't hold their feet on that, that scrum and uh, certainly rewards for uh, just, just barging the steam as that ball went in. So, Chimic running, running the ball. Nice Take offload. Good defence so far, so... Oh, they Thank you to our sponsors this year. Shop at those people who have us, and in particular We've got to respect them and they're Jack not Steve giving up. Nichols is here. So just short of the line, good defence steamers so far to hold them out. So... They dropped it again. No, he's found a penalty there. He's supporting the club and also employs Emma Clements and, and Mon. So, uh, <laughs> looks like we've got a scrum five metres out, so we uh, can expect more of the same. Tumut, Tumut scrum to, uh, to dominate here. This is their pack in the scrum. Call out to, to some of our sponsors uh, this year. It's uh, Preston Road Patterson, HIB Insurance, Family Vet Centre, Johnson's MME. It's uh, great supporters of the steamers. So scrum balls in and uh, Jim just holding it at the back there. Looks like it's going to be a pushover and... Uh, Referees uh, awarded a penalty try, so uh, saying that the team is bringing it down. Not an easy uh, position to be in when uh, scrum's going backwards. My friends at Chewit are far more knowledgeable than me. They just told us that there won't, won't be a kick to come. Where's the kicker? It's a penalty try. There's no kick. Oh. It's a uh, an instant reward. Was that for handball? Was it? Ah, uh, collapse in the scrum. Score now, Steam is 29, Chewit 12. How is it 12? So it's oh, okay, so kick is given. Yeah, automatic 7. C. So we've got a change here. Joel Carusi, uh, ever reliable on for Aidan Wolford Smith, Sunshine. Uh, the steamers will now need to uh, make sure they get those lineouts right because Aiden's a key part, integral part of the steamers lineout. Why is he off? What do you think? Yeah, not sure if it's injury or tactical. Not sure. So well taken in the 22 Tumut line and uh, good hard run straight up the centre there. It's, uh, Tumut piggies are willing to take the ball in and uh, looks like. Uh, Big Caressi's on as well. Caressi's a tank, it's very hard to stop when he's running in the ball. So, uh, Scuba, Scuba McMahon is given a, a, a rest. We got on Caressi for it. So, held up there by George Woods, just, oh, just got to ground, fought to ground the tumor player. So. It's a milling defence. Liam Crouch stole that ball. So here, here's uh, Steamer's opportunity just on the 40 metre line in uh, Tumut Half. So short side, little little cheeky kick over the top. This will put some pressure on. Chase is really good and uh, grounds it. Uh, so we'll come back for a, uh, a scrum five metres out. Steamer's feed. The right option. It's uh, 
good field position. Uh, Steamers make the miracle and push the opposition backwards. Well, they've got a couple of changes out there, so uh, Carusi up the front will certainly uh, yeah, give him that that bulk and size. Um, and, and Joel doesn't let, let the team down at number eight, so so hopefully. Scrum, scrum looks okay. Solid, yeah. Ball's still in. Well, looks like well, position is standing up to me. Uh, just can't hold on to that ball, so he's found a knock on there. So, uh, it's a very, very messy ball out the back there. And here we go for a uh, another scrum. scrum. Well, follow up with a push then, boys. Low enough, strong enough. Opposition's tired, time to push. The steamers just need hold it here. Like, looks like they're a little bit high and, and Tumor really pushing hard. And George Woods takes it to the line, still going. It was a very high pass, very difficult to catch for him, and he did catch it. Lionel Sullivan goes himself, takes that line on. Simon Clements, good bustling run. Here we go, George Woods again. Every time he gets that ball, takes it across that advantage line, so great option. Here we go, Rhino Sutherland to Zach Tipney. Still going, cheeky little pass out of the back, but no one was ready for it. Respect the ball, boys, respect the ball. Yeah, and now we've got a penalty holding on. So, Joel couldn't do much with that because he was smothered, and uh, Chima rewarded with that penalty. Just still in this. So Tumut get the ball out outside of their 22 and uh, we'll have the throw in here for the line out. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how, how uh, the steamers contest this with uh, probably their, their best jumper off, off the field. Who will jump? What are your thoughts? Uh, Clements or T. Yeah, Jones? So, so they'll get Clemo up at the front and uh, Ah, oh, they didn't come. Compete at all, that's very surprising. So good rush defence there Great. by Steamers. Haven't put the man to ground, but... Chimic coming out to the short side. Just a little little pops giving the meters in. Hey, who's the Liam, Liam Crouts again. Yeah. So he's just the master at... Uh... Silent, silent assassin. So now the Steamers got a bit of ascendancy from that. It's uh, Zach Great Tipney pass, Zach. Beautiful. and Sam, Sammy Adler just, just inside the 22. So Michi Yayo, a little bit high but gets the ground well. It's, uh, so Steamers Ford's taking that ball, trucking it up. And here we go again, George Woods breaks one tackle, great metres. So about 12 metres out, he goes rucks, only one way straight through, hold on to the ball, does well. George Woods again, lining up. So here he goes, taking that ball. It's great to see the backs doing some of the piggies work here as well. Zach Tip now for run, just oh. barges run, taken down. Strong run by uh, Zach Tipney. Barge and runs, tumor too well there to keep that man out. And here we go, Caressi's going to go for a barge and uh, gets that ball over. This man has already played a game for the twos. So just Where patience does he there. take his energy from? Just patience and uh, big man there for that's the him, line. That's him, this guy. Flying Fijian. So it takes it to 34 to 12. And uh, Tumit certainly uh, struggling a little bit for uh, fitness now. So uh, Steamers just need to 
hold, hold their uh, their wheel here and just play their structures, and uh, I'm sure they've got another try or two in them. So it looks like uh, Simon Clemens coming off. Williams becoming the best kicker. Trying to steal it, Jerk and Barrett down now right dish to drop over the ball. So a uh, couple of changes for both teams now. So it's uh, late, late in the day. It's getting cooler and uh, certainly some tired bodies out there. So floodgates could open here if uh, steamers play their structures. Oh, no, Sullivan calls that early, gets it in the 22, and he's going to run it. Links up with Zach Tipney nicely and uh, gives him a bit of the uh, the goose step and, and taken uh, about 35 metres out from steamers' line. So good, good run. A nice cheeky little kick there and tough bounce, but uh, so Chumit made a couple of tackles there, straight through the middle, spin and spin and hit as he goes. Not a bad play, very good run. So it's just on the steamer side of half line and uh, halfway. Now they're just uh, slowly bashing that ball up in the line. Making some good meetings. So, need to uh, get in the line. So defence here is uh, giving Tumut uh, some good meters. Steamers just need to go low and take the man. It's a nice little fancy move there by Tumut and uh, good tackling. And we've got inside the 22, centre field. Ball just doesn't go to hand and... Uh, referee's found a penalty there. Uh, not, not releasing, uh, not releasing. So uh, now we've got a bit of back chat, so the, the ref's going to march from 10. Not Steam, smart. Steamers will need to take that out of the game. Timic number um, eight is down. They are feeling the hard play in their bones and muscles, but they're not giving up, which is respectful. So Tuma taking a scrum here, and why wouldn't you? You've been dominating all day. Of course. You see the uh, the dominance of their scrum. Just, just push push this ball, and uh, maybe a push over from uh, about eight metres out, or they'll swing it wide. Captain Ryan O'Sullivan is directing the defence, telling them where to go and what to focus on. Much better scrum by the steamers. It's called the penalty though. So it said pulling down. So not holding not holding their feet the front mm. row. Bit, bit of a harsh penalty that one, because uh, you're pushing hard and uh, you lose your feet, that's uh, and what do you do when you've got a dominant scrum? You take another scrum. Of course, you'd be silly not to. So this is where it just zaps your energy in the front row and uh, second row. So uh, Tumor doing well to, to keep this going. So ball's in, it's at the eight's feet. Still very moving. good scrum, very good scrum. <laughs> well done, opposition. So, uh, number eight puts it over the line, and uh, very, very good scrum, Tumut. So, well Obvious. done. So, uh, score now moves 36 17. You can see the seamers forwards there really. Uh, Zapped of energy that takes a lot. It's not not where you want to be. Uh, 
camped on your line and getting dominated. I'm not sure if um, D Jones is 100%. He wasn't wasn't well during the week. He had a flu or a cold. So kick to come. So we're about nine meters in on the 22. So not a, not an easy kick, but. Um, Jimmy have kicked uh, one from two. Taking his time just to line this up. It's not a bad oh, kick a off the boot. Kick. Just uh, very just unlucky. A little bit, kick, yes. little bit wide. So score remains 36-17. Prior to the ball. Score now is 36 to 17. Steamers in front. So a couple of changes coming in. So Lukey Driver going on for Mitchell Yo and uh, Seb going on for, for Lloyd. So good opportunity here for Seb. It's a young fella coming through the ranks. He reads the game very well. He can also direct his plays. Wobbly old kick doesn't uh, doesn't go ten. So we'll have scrum centre field and uh, Chimit will put this one in. I guess the good thing here they can't. Uh, Hold it in the scrum for 50 metres, but I'm sure they'll try. It can be a penalty though. Uh, if I could give the boys some advice at the moment, it would be just block your legs. Looks like uh, Blake is uh, getting ready to get back on. Or maybe she's just contemplating. <laughs> He'd be disappointed, Blake. He's. Uh... You know, he sat out for a few weeks with injury and just come back and... Uh... That only shows that he's given it 100%. Hmm. So messy scrum there and Tumit get it out. It's, uh, it's about five metres into the steamer's territory. So you've got pods lining up for Tumit here to, to truck it up. It's, uh... Big man's... Uh... Done well there. So, so tipped on and uh, gone backwards, but uh, it's lost a bit of ground. So now we're back in uh, tumor, tumor territory. Good run there and uh, just, just gets over that advantage line. But referee found a knock on in there and uh, be another scrum and uh, two, three steamers feet. Two, three steamers do down. It's a bit of a uh, bit of a blow if uh, T Jones comes off. It's had a good game. I'm sure, both sides would like the uh, the breather just to get a bit of water on board. Teams are getting a water break. So he's up, he's, he's okay, and uh, respect. Just to set Benson to feed the scrum here and uh, given his opportunity in first grade, so it uh, won't be easy for the young fellow to get that ball out quickly with the scrum getting uh, demolished. Let's see what's going to happen now.
All right, so time back on now, and uh, maybe two, two All right, we'll have our tickets and delays down next. Saturday have been sold. It's about a first in, best dressed. Just acknowledge a couple more sponsors while we're uh, waiting for this scrum to be packed. Uh, Riverina Podiatry Group, uh, thank you, and uh, Snap Snap Pruning, long-time supporters of the Steamers. We have a penalty there. It's uh, so collapsing the scrum, and uh, yeah, Steamers probably have no choice. They're trying to get under, trying to do what they can to just counter this scrum, but not having any success. We're about 36 metres out of the steamer's line with the line out. Tumor to throw. So steamers will need to uh, just make sure their defensive line and structure comes up and, and meets this attack. Is it a penalty? So Ball taken in the mall. Back one set here. Ball just going a little bit behind, so no ascendancy there. It's really hard to get a uh, some clear attack if you're uh, catching the ball behind you. So once again, the, just a bit of a stagnant. They've gone backwards a little bit. But that, that's a good sign of uh, Steamer's defence as well. Just on the uh, 40, 40 metre mark. Just gets over that advantage line, still going. So the ball's going through hand. Nice off though, but he's knocked that on. Another scrum, you reckon? So just uh, no advantage there and. Uh, We'll go in for another scrum. I see. It's, it's a chim at feet, so... Uh, what is it? I thought they dropped the ball. So obviously, Stephen must have stolen it and knocked it on the mm. The ball going in now. Steam is holding this, so the ball's just at the back, and they bulls take a step, and then nice feed out to the back line for the for the bulls. So George Wood steals that ball, puts it in over the head of uh, Tumor back line. So it's in the 22. Tumor 22. Nowhere to go here, and uh, defence here well done by the Steamers to keep that man in that 22. Now secure it. It's a penalty to Tumut there. So what's he ruled? Stimmers are working very hard, but are they working smart? So we're about 30. 35 metres out of the Tumut line, with a line out to come, Tumut throw. So Steamers will uh, need to get up and spoil here, just, just change the ascendancy of the, uh, of the line out. Tim has got more numbers. You don't have to match, but uh, can't have more. So not straight. T. Jones takes that ball in. To Liam Crouts, good run. Gets that ball back. Said Benson off to Rhino Sutherland. The uh, fence from Tim up very quickly out the side. Zach Tipney stopped very quickly in the. the uh, Centre of the park. 
little obstruction, is it? Yes, they're calling it obstruction, even though uh, that's a bit silly from the steamers there. <laughs> Looks that like is a rather strange path. decision to uh, to run it from their half, isn't it? Well, yeah. would you not choose a scrum? Could you not choose a scrum? Uh, sure, I'm, uh, I don't think so. Oh, oh you, no, no, you should you be able to. Yeah. Be, yeah, you can. So uh, anyway, they get the scrum here, steamers feed for a forward pass. Liam Crouch moved, moved to the side and uh, Lukey Driver taking over hooking duties. So ball's in and yeah, pretty tough. Looks like uh, referee wants it packed again. Scrum fed, it's uh, hands in the uh, hands in the ruck, but Tumit get that out. Hands in the scrum, sorry, but Tumit get it out. So we're on the uh, halfway line there. So we've got the overlap here, the good, good defence there, flooding, and George Woods just takes that man. So deemed not rolling, pretty harsh penalty that, but uh, the right one just a uh, just wedged in that ruck, and um, yeah, unfortunately the penalty comes. Great kick by Tim. Fantastic kick. So uh, got a line out five metres out. Steamers try to get the ball, or will they pretend to get low and try to tackle straight away? No, they didn't. Very slow, the whole play. So, balls at the back, driving the wall. It's not going anywhere. It's uh, starting to flood it now. Steamers need to be careful. He hasn't rewarded a try, but held up. Great defence. Fabulous. Just uh, lucky uh, when that collapsed, I thought he was going to call steamers collapsing that mall, but uh, yeah, great defence. I guess the downside is it's another scrum for the uh, for the Bulls here, and um, five metres out, we've already seen what they can do. Not safe, is it? <laughs> so feeds in, balls at the back of the eight's feet. So um, they're just moving it. Ever so slowly, but it is moving. A little bit of momentum now. Can't touch that. It's what's he going to call? The ball's out, so he's knocked on. Great so. defence, well done, Steamers. Lucky, lucky this one. 
So yet another scrum. Steam is put in though, so if they can get it in quickly and straight through the channel and out, then... Uh, but I'm sure Chim would have other ideas. So just some, uh, while we're waiting for this scrum to pack, a couple of other sponsors, Family Vet Centre in Albury, Wodonga. Uh, Justin Clancy and uh, his team there, great, great sponsors. TJM, if you've got four-wheel drive and uh, need, need some accessories, uh, go and see the boys at TJM. I'm sure they'll look after you handsomely. You mentioned the steamers. So Seb puts the ball in now. Very, very good to get that ball out and uh, good clearing kick there by Rhino Sutherland. It's uh, about 10 metres off the line with um, Chim at throw. Gotta compete, boys. So good, good line out. Taken off the back, he's isolated, he's got to be isolated. It gets to the ground. So, so swinging out through the backs, some runners. Bit of a missed tackle, so good, good yards. Pull it down on the five metre line. So nine looking for runners, they're all on the short side. It's a good willing defence there by the steamers. So he's pushed. Referee's rewarded a try there. That was never a try, actually. That was uh, way before <clears throat> before the line. It was felt so it must have been double movement. Anyway, the refs awarded the try, so we've got a uh, steam is still 36. Visitors tune at balls now <coughs> 22. Kick to come. Another difficult kick out wide. Just a couple of metres in from touch. And uh, looks like George Woods is um, exiting the field. Yeah, which is not a good sign for the Steamers. So just taking his time with this kick. Obviously, uh, for and against is important, so every <laughs> kick is in, just as important as the next one. They put on a great fight uh, in the opposition, Bulls. Plenty of respect for him for that. The game is not over yet. Here we go, closing in. Kicks uh, a bit wild, nowhere near the post, but uh, you know, we, there we have it. Full time, 36 to 22 to the Steamers. We have a score of 36 to 22, which is a full time score. Full time score for the Steamers and Bulls for a great exhibition now, 36 to 22. So, uh, Steamers back home next week against. Uh, Waratah, so Steamers uh, haven't got an easy run again next week against Waratahs. So that's it they, for they, now. They and, were uh, not very good uh, in this Super League session. Waratahs, were they? So, yeah, <laughs> Super League, no. Good, all the Steamers supporters in particular. A good, good win by the Steamers today, so they'll be uh, take some confidence away from that. Thank you very much, and uh, I'd like to say that Troy stealing the seconds today was phenomenal.